All right, we're back with book club and we're nearing the end of What a Fish Knows. Today we're going to talk about what a fish thinks and knows. Appropriate, right? The first study that really stood out to me here was about gobies who would memorize the landscape of the tide pools at high tide so that at low tide they could jump from tide pool to tide pool to avoid predators. And if they hadn't had an opportunity to survey the landscape at high tide, they were not so successful at making those leaps during low tide. So I thought that was really interesting. They're literally swimming around memorizing the area. Uh, there was another study about fish and choosing nesting sites. And they actually memorized their nesting sites from year to year. Um, in the lab, they used colored tubes and year after year, the fish would go to the same colored tube in the same place. They challenged stream-dwelling fish and pond-dwelling fish to a maze, and the stream-dwelling fish were better at navigating the maze than pond-dwelling fish. That's actually not really a surprise, but cool that they proved it. And then they talk so much about cleaner wrasse, and they did a plate study the disappearing plate study with chimpanzees, capuchins, toddlers, and cleaner wrasse. And cleaner wrasse were able to perform this challenge and understand this challenge better than any of the other animals. So if you have two plates, food on both of them, they're exactly identical, but one of them is going to go away sooner than the other one. The other will always be there. So the cleaner wrasse were able to learn how to eat from the plate that would be removed, whereas chimpanzees, children, and capuchins never quite figured it out or weren't nearly as successful as the cleaner wrasse. And they're making the assumption that this is because cleaner wrasse would benefit from servicing new clients who they know might be fleeting and leave their station quickly, rather than their old usual regulars who hang out all the time and who are gonna be there no matter what. So I thought that was pretty fascinating. All right, next time we are going to learn all about fish breeding. Fun, right? All right, thanks for joining us on another Animals Amplified Book Club.